Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has a lot of tracks, and figuring out how to race on each one to give yourself the best chances of winning might seem like a daunting task, but if you just spend countless hours playing the game, finding all the best strategies and learning the exact layout of every track, you'll be winning in no time. Or you could just watch my video. Starting us off in episode 1 of Know Your Tracks is course number 1 in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Kart Stadium. Mario Kart Stadium is one of the best first tracks in any Mario Kart game, and there's a lot to learn about it too. To start off, the best combination for this course is Wario or Dry Bowser in the Wild Wiggler and with Leaf or Button Tires. However, if you're having trouble getting mini turbos required for this track, because there are a lot of situations where you might need to do this, you might want to use the Bitty Buggy with Roller Wheels if you're looking for a combination that's a little bit easier for this track. To start off, make sure to get the full startup boost and take a tight turn around the first corner. Go a little wider if you're doing time trials to get these first two coins. Hold your drift by moving the joystick to the left while drifting, and prepare to turn fully right again once we get to the first shortcut here. Once you get to here, start drifting in and try to get an ultra mini turbo in the grass, but a super mini turbo will also work. Once you're about this far into the grass, hop once but twice will make it easier, and hold right to align yourself with the road. If you're doing a time trial, make sure to get one of these coins and leave another one for the second lap. Now you need to align yourself for the shortcut here. Start drifting left but hold right on the drift, and once you get here, start turning towards the ramp. The shortcut can be a little difficult if you don't know how to do it, so once you get here, let go of your mini turbo and jump onto the ramp. But if you're not aligned correctly, you could easily fall off. Next you're going to want to do a trick off the ramp and prepare for the third shortcut. This next one is pretty similar to the last one, but it can be a little difficult to do if you also did the ramp shortcut. So you can choose one or another if you're having trouble doing both of them. After you land from the ramp, start drifting right and hold a blue mini turbo. Then once you get here, jump, and because you're in anti-gravity, you should clear the entire patch of grass. However, if you're doing it in time trial mode, on the first lap, you should skip the shortcut to get these coins. Now this next turn can be a little difficult. You should come in from a wide angle and cut the U-turn as close as you can. Hold your drift until you get a super mini turbo and release. Stay going straight on the right side of the track. This will give you the best trajectory for the shortcut coming up, and it will help you avoid items in the middle of the course. Do a trick off the glider ramp, and if you're in time trials, swoop up and grab your final coins. Now this is where you want to use your mushroom, if you have one. So if you're in time trials, you should be using your mushroom here every lap. Once you land, boost through the sand, avoiding the pipes. However, there's an easier strategy that wastes barely any time. If you angle yourself more towards the wall, then you can bounce off of it and you don't have to worry about avoiding both the wall and the pipes. But if you don't have a mushroom here, then you want to land as soon as possible while grabbing the coins if you're in time trials, and take the final turn as tight as possible and get a super mini turbo. Now, you can skip the sand section without a mushroom if you hold back your glider, but this is actually slower than landing and cutting the corner tight. It may seem like it's faster, but don't be fooled, it will slow you down in the long run. And then after that turn, you get to the end of the lap. There is one more mushroom shortcut you can do right here, it just doesn't save as much time as the sand shortcut. Another thing to mention is, on your second lap of a time trial, you don't need to go wide for coins anymore, and you should take the turns as tight as possible. I said that the Bitty Buggy makes this track a little easier, and that's because you can get mini turbos to complete the three shortcuts easier. And in races, that's probably going to be better for you because you never know what the circumstances are going to be. But for time trialing, Wario or Dry Bowser with the Wild Wiggler and Leaf Tires is the best combination. Knowing all of the shortcuts on this track make it very easy to front run on, especially because it's a pretty short course, and if you know all the strategies and other people don't, then you can easily get an early lead. However, this isn't really a track that you want to sandbag on, because most of the shortcuts can be done shroomless, so power items won't save you that much time. And that's all I have to say about this track. My best time for this track is 1 minute 13 seconds .627. Let me know if you're able to beat it, and I'll put a link in the description to the current world record on this course. But that's going to be the end of the video for me. I hope you enjoyed this series. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.